Welcome back, episode 110. And this is actually the final episode. So with that being said, it's World Download Day. And if you're a supporter of any tier, whether that's on Twitch, Patreon, or Discord Premium, all you gotta do is hop on over to the Discord, discord.gg forward slash chosen architect, check out the FAQ, figure out how to link your account and everything, and uh, get access to your world download and uh, be able to try this out before we go into the final vaults. So speaking of uh, final vault, kind of a spoiler, right? Because we're gonna be going into the final vault. However, once I go into the final vaults, I am there until I complete it. Now I will preface, I do not think I am currently equipped nor ready for the final vault. I have just kind of run out of time for this series. I, uh, we spent literally a full year on this series. I, I will say this. I have recorded this since last year, and uh, it's kind of like heart-wrenching, honestly. Like, I'm kind of getting emotional thinking about it, because I have put an entire year in this series, and unfortunately, I was, I, I would say unfortunate, but it's not really unfortunate. I did not expect to be joining the Vault Hunters SMP. I, I did not expect that. So, because of that, um, I have very limited time to spend on this series uh, moving forward um, because I'm working on that and I'm also working on other modded Minecraft projects um, and also going to have some more in the future, especially once I'm finished with Stoneblock as the time of this recording. So me jumping into the final vault is going to be more like me, I don't know, testing the waters and just looking at each of the vault rooms and kind of going, ah, if only I had more time. <laughs> Of course, with that world download, you'll be able to experience yourself and you can equip any of the gear you want and go in and try to experience it. Now, if I was to go into the vault and honestly prepare myself, I would have crafted up more of the orb frames here. I do have plenty um, to be able to craft them up and then we just give ourselves, you know, more skill points. But I'm not super, super worried about that at, at the moment. Otherwise, I would spec myself in a way that would potentially get me there. However, we're about to blow this up. Because to get into this, we have to blow up our vault artifacts with TNT. Oh boy. Um, yes, I had to watch some stuff and unfortunately spoil myself to be able to figure out how to even get into the vault uh, because there's no documentation in this pack. So let's get a torch or actually flint. Um, I don't know how much uh, or how close we have to have this or anything. I don't really know. <laughs> Let's make a flint and steel. And we need some sort of support to place. I'm guessing I'm gonna I'm gonna place it right in front of this. Like this is probably going to blow up a little bit more than I'm wanting it to. Hopefully it doesn't affect any of that. But if all of these are set up correctly, Should explode? Oh my gosh, I am so goofy. I just realized I have the benevolent goddess charm on. <laughs> and that might honestly be the reason why this is not working. Okay, so now let's try it. Oh man, I hope this works. Okay, let's do this. Lindsteel, you know what, benevolent, you can go in here just to make sure. Ah, is that prevents explosions? This should work. It did! And we have our vault frame. Yes, this is what allows us to get into the vault, by the way. Oh my goodness. And, uh, well, all of this is now gone. Eh, I'm fine with that. And uh, we got into all of our stuff. Look at this. Look at this right here. Vault frame. Final vault frame. Oh boy. And all we have to do this is put this into our normal vault frame somewhere. Um, we can put it, how about right up in the top, maybe? It just has to be here somewhere. And now we can enter into the final vault. However, we still have to make a final vault crystal. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I just noticed something. I checked my soul shard shop and there's literally an echo pog setting in there. Of all the days, I get an echo pog. I, you got to be kidding me. Now, to be able to get into the final vault, we need a final vault crystal. And, uh, well, we have one right here. Here is our rock. Apparently, we place the rock 
here. And then we hit it with a pog. Oh, that's so cool. And then now that we've hit it with a pog, we need to give it these. It does say it's already complete, which is interesting. Oh wait, no, it needs this right here. It needs this one. Now it's complete. I wonder where it got all the other ones from. Eh. Oh well, and here we go. Oh boy. The final vault. Ooh, that's ominous. That is a very ominous crystal. Now, here's the thing. Once I go into this vault, there's no coming back out through normal means. You have to go into creative mode to get yourself out. Um, so once I go in, I'm in. Uh, and really, this is going to just be me showing you what the vault looks like. I'm going to try and go through each one of the areas. But the good thing is, is once you go in, like when you're in, and you, if you die with your stuff, right? If you die um, inside one of the vaults, you just get teleported back to the hub. So thankfully, we can do that. And we don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, I think the only other thing I would need... I, I think this is it. I'm just going to go in like this. I'm literally going in with some food, the gear that we run with always, and that's just what we're doing. So, three, all, all this time has led up to this moment. I'm just like, ah, man. my I, I had such anxiety last night just thinking about this. All right, here we go. Opened the final vault. <sighs> May the vault gods be ever in our favor. Oh boy. And here we are. An entire year has led to this moment right here. So let's take a look around this place. So right here. Uh, all right. Valar's gluttony. Your goal is to find and devour 42 cakes. However, this is no ordinary cake hunt. To stomach this challenge, you will have to pay attention, but not only to the clues, a dryad or something with a strong car carpace, carapace probably has a big appetite. Hmm. So that's a cake vault. <laughs> that's a cake vault. Um, this is the Tenos puzzle, one of my favorite gods. Uh, your goal is to find 10 obelisks and kill 10 bosses. However, this is not no ordinary vault. It's not no. You can tell where I'm from. Uh, this is <laughs> this is no ordinary vault. To uh, succeed, you will have to build the vault. So this is a build the vault. Oh, it's an architect vault. Um, and be clever on how you construct it and make sure to be weary of the mobs. Oh, they will take uh, take your time. Oh, no. Be a ninja to succeed. So ninja. You need ninja. Okay. We we have honestly we didn't I did not have enough time like throughout this whole playthrough. Unfortunately, because I wasn't streaming this. I really feel like this whole pack was really designed to be played streaming. Um and I it just it doesn't work that way when recording YouTube videos, unfortunately. Hopefully in season, definitely in well, I'm, I say definitely, definitely in the season three, the new version. By the way, check it out on the channel. I have been uploading those VODs. I do have a second channel, by the way, Chosen Live. Check that out. All the VODs from the Twitch live stream have been going there, all from the SMP. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, check that out and subscribe over there. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Adana's Wrath. Your goal is to defeat 10 waves of raging monsters. As you descend deeper into the vaults, um, you choose... Ooh, speaking of descending, I know I'm interrupting here, but vaults that go vertically would be kind of cool. <laughs> This is there's like a wide range now. That'd be interesting. A three dimensional vault. Um, as you descend deeper into the vault, your choices or your choice how raging it becomes. It's your choice how raging it becomes. Hunters with blood on their hands. Uh, porca, porca, what is that? Porca, porcaness? Pork I, I, well, I can't I read sometimes. Ah, and an assassin. These are all, by the way, um, the etching sets. And like I said, I did not have enough time to, well, cause we had have, have to run a ton of vaults to get all the etchings, unfortunately. Um, the goal is to collect a random amount. This is a uh, Windar's passage is to collect a random amount uh, of treasure. This passage, however, 
you have very limited amount of time to do so, and Sand will be your friend. Understanding the powers of the Rift is certainly a gift to a hunter of this vault. Um, so we have to collect items. I know what that one's going to be. So that is going to be a scavenger hunt. Uh, the red, this one is going to be a, uh, 10 waves of raz raging monsters. That one is going to be the, um, uh, the raid, raid vault, architect vault. And this is just a cake vault. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and first, let's just test our ability here. And I want to test this out because the Tenos puzzle is my favorite. This is the one I want to go into. So here's the thing. If you die, by the way, if you die in here, you do return to this point to get to try again. Um, over and over again. You are, I am forever in this vault at this point. So, uh, being in single player, when you complete this, it fills both of the eyes. You'll be rewarded with the eyes to complete this ob uh, obelisk here. Um, once done, uh, on all of them, well, then I actually have no idea what happens. <laughs> And I've tried not to spoil myself. So this one, we have 10 bosses to complete and uh, time runs out. Thankfully, with our build, we kind of have some uh, some abilities here. So let's go ahead and test this out. All right, no extras, void hex. And also, these are different. As you can see, we can like right click. So plus 90 seconds, plus two knowledge, a 15, negative 15 resist, plus five knowledge. Uh, let's do plus, that's one mob. We'll do 90 seconds west plus 90 seconds west and minus five knowledge. Actually, I probably should not go minus knowledge. Um, also, how do we see? Oh my God, that actually knocks. Oh my God, that removes time. Okay, so let's do plus four minus. Oh my God, we're wasting time. South. South. Um, negative 50 mer parry, five knowledge. Let's go uh, west. And I wasn't even looking for the obelisk, but I'm sure we'd see them if they showed up. Um, this one, I don't even, is there a, an obelisk or something? Oh, we have to click them. Um, oh my God, this is stressful. Uh, plus one mobs. So plus 30 seconds, negative resistance. Let's go south. And we also have to kind of remember, oh, there's, there's that guy. I'm going to ignore him though. Where is our pillar right here? Oh boy. Um, let's go South minus one mob. We also have a timer, as you can see, like our vault timer actually matters, which is crazy. And look how many obelisks we have to, like we have to kill 10 bosses, negative five knowledge. Let's go South plus knowledge but we get negative resist. And this is how this is gonna go. I'm hoping to at least be able to see our first boss. Oh my God, I'm blinded. We can cure that, we can cure that. Don't know what gave me blindness. Um, Let's go plus 30 seconds. Oh my, uh, west, west. We need to go west. Um, Knowledge gives us parry, I believe. Uh, negative five knowledge north. We'll keep going. Oh boy. Let's see this one. We can only do west. Let's do plus two knowledge. Oh boy. All right. Uh, minus one knob, mob minus knowledge. Oh man. I want plus 30 seconds. Maybe north. Trying to avoid the mobs. Where's the, uh, did I go the wrong way? No, it's right here. Um, negative five knowledge. Wow. I don't want to do that. Plus, uh, let's go West. We've hit a dead end. This is definitely a dead end. So, oh no, it's not a dead end. What am I thinking? <laughs> oh my God. I'm so stressed. South, let's continue south. Is there literally just, so we just got to keep finding rooms until we find there's minus west is minus two knowledge south. I mean, the flight kind of helps. I wonder if that's a, uh, that's a positive or not. Plus one mobs. 
So we got two knowledge. Um, let's see, plus 60 seconds if we go west. Yeah, the skeletons hurt because they, yeah, they hurt. Um, let's do plus one mobs. Let's go west. That's not good. Okay. Um, plus two knowledge north. Still no boss, which is interesting. Plus five knowledge, negative 15 parry. I don't want that. I want plus two knowledge. Let's go west. Also, at any point I want to leave, I can just literally stand in the void fluid. And then apparently we'll uh, fix that. <laughs> Uh, we'll get minus seconds if we go this way, but I'll get plus five knowledge. I'm going south. And I have yet to even see a boss. Oh, I'm adding time. Should have probably went plus. Uh, plus three knowledge, plus one mob, or we can go north. Let's go north. Ah, our first obelisk. Okay, let's see how this is going to be. So I did that boss. Okay. Interesting. Um, now we need to go west, but that's negative five. Let's go north. I want to keep my parry high. Uh, west plus three knowledge plus one mobs plus five negative 15 parry. If we go north, I'm going to go plus five knowledge. Okay. Um, let's see. Plus two knowledge, plus four knowledge, negative fairy. I'm going to go, uh, mob health or I'm going to do four. Oh, east. Oh, another boss. See this go around like taking damage. I can't use any of my skills and it just literally just hurts art of all time. So I know that at some point I am not going to be able to complete it because of the vault timer. Okay. We killed the boss, uh, but we're down. We're down several minutes plus four knowledge minus one mob. Let's uh, add 30 seconds. Go south. That'd be our only way is to add time. Uh, okay. I can't click on this. Is it? Did we just go into a room? We just, I think, went back into a room that we've already done, right? No. So yes. Yeah, so I think we've hit a dead end. <laughs> and this is the thing that you have to worry about too. Uh, I just hit a dead end. I think that this opens up into a room we've been in. This opens up into a room we've been in. And this opens up into a room we must have been in. And thus, I can't do anything. So the only thing I can do is to go into the void fluid. And just let our time deplete. You guys can hit me too. Because that's going to be the only way. <laughs> Oh no. Well, this is how it is. This is how it is. Well, welcome to Tennis. I tell you what, it's crazy. Look at that score because <laughs> I haven't died. Like this is literally my second death uh, ever <laughs> in this world. It's just kind of crazy seeing that score. Um, but yeah, it does bring you back here. So death is not a bad thing, I guess. Uh, it does bring you back. It does increase your death timer. Like, I definitely wasn't expecting for me to live through that. Um, so, yeah, that is uh, Tinos. Now, I would show you the rest of them, but I don't really want to spoil myself if the final vault is going to be very similar this season. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of want to keep this under wraps for me, for my sake.
So if you want to experience this yourself, like I said, get the world download and uh, you can hop in here and do it as many times as you want. And well, guys, this has been crazy. I hate to just like end this series here because I mean, it's just so much time and effort has went into this, but I am currently on the SMP playing and I tell you what, I'm having a blast over there and uh, it's going to be even more Omega over there. I tell you what, um, even so far, I've only got 20 like stream days in and we've already basically we're already building a city basically like a, a, a it's crazy. I got tons of farms going already. I'm way more prepared than I was when I started this. So only better things will come of that. So be sure to check that out. Twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect is where I I stream if you haven't already seen that. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to hang out with you guys over there. Uh, but anyways, guys, be sure to click that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. I'd like to thank all of my sponsors over on uh, Patreon, over on Twitch, and over on the Discord premium memberships. You guys are amazing and will keep this channel up and running at times. So I do appreciate you guys very, very much. And uh, th thank you guys all for watching this series. It's been an absolute blast and treat. And it's only gotten better and it's only going to get better the more we move into the 118 version. So I cannot wait. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.